Assalamu alaikum and good morning dear students. Today I am going to teach you a creative question based on hydrogen bond. Dear students, look at the whiteboard. Here a part of periodic table is given as a stem and the group numbers are 1, 2, 30, 14 and 16 and the period numbers are second and third here the first in the first group and third period p is present so p indicates 3 as 1 i mean 1 as 2 2 as 2 2 p 6 i mean total number of electrons 11 so p indicates sodium Q indicates two electrons for the third shell, so it will be 3s2, 2p6, 2s2, 1s2. The number of total electrons are 12, so it will be magnesium. So Q indicates magnesium and uh, there are 14 minus 3, I mean 4 electrons at the second energy layer. So it will be 2s2, 2p2, 4 electrons at the second energy layer. And at the first energy layer it will be 1s2, total electrons 6, I mean it will be the carbon. And B contains 4 electrons at the third shell. So it will be 3s2, 3p2, 2p6, 2s2, 1s2, 10, 12, 14, silicon. So dear students, B indicates silicon. And at the last shell of X, there are 16 minus 10, I mean 6 electrons. So it will be 2s2, 2p4, and 1s2, 4, 8 oxygen. And Y indicates third energy layer contains 6 electrons. So it will be 3s2. 3p, 4, 2p6, 2s2, 1s2, 10, 12, 16. So it will be sulfur. So dear students, all of you have understood about the real name of all those elements. Those are sodium, magnesium, carbon, silicon, oxygen and sulfur respectively. Now come to the knowledge based question. What is hydrogen bond? Dear students, if I give you an example. Water H2O and the structural formula of water is Here the electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 and electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1. So the difference of electronegativity of between hydrogen and oxygen is very high, dear students. Uh, the difference of electronegativity has to be more than 0 0.5 or equal 0 0.5. In that case, dipole is created. So, dear students, it can be understood easily. A dipole is created in the water molecule as oxygen is more electronegative element. Oxygen pulls the bond pair electron to itself. As a result, oxygen becomes negatively charged and hydrogen becomes positively charged. I mean, a negative pole and a positive pole 
are coated in the water molecule one and so this is a dipole molecule dipole molecule I mean polar molecule polar molecule when two or more polar molecules come closer that time hydrogen is bonded with the negative pole of another polar molecule to form a weak bond this weak bond is known as hydrogen bond so dear students actually i would like to give you the definition of hydrogen bond by replacing actually i would like to show you the definition of hydrogen bond by using a by using an example here i have given you an example of as watcher so dear students come to the question number b comprehensive type question hydrogen fluoride is a polar compound explain it hydrogen fluoride normally you know that hydrogen fluoride is a covalent compound that's why hydrogen is bonded with fluorine by the help of covalent compound we know that the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 and the electronegativity of fluorine is 4.0 so the difference of electronegativity is high i mean it is more than 0.5 that's why the bond pair electron is pulled by fluorine i mean more electronegative atom as a result more electronegative atom becomes partially negatively charged and hydrogen becomes partially positively charged i mean a uh, dipole is created in this molecule that's why this is a polar molecule or polar compound dear students at normal temperature the hydride of x students already i have told you x is oxygen and y means sulfur x represents oxygen and y represents sulfur and the electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 and sulfur is 2.5 so the hydride of oxygen is h2o and the hydride of sulfur is h2s at normal temperature h2o is liquid and h2s is gas what is the reason of different physical state dear students i uh, all of you know that the electronegativity of hydrogen is 2.1 so if i consider water the electronegativity of hydrogen and oxygen is the difference of electronegativity of hydrogen and oxygen is very high and that is more than 0.5 that's why hydrogen becomes partially positively charged and oxygen becomes partially negatively charged i mean a polar molecule is formed when two or more water molecules come closer the hydrogen pole is attracted to the negative oxygen pole to form a weak bond this bond is known as hydrogen bond due to the hydrogen bond a molecular cluster is formed here as a result innumerable number of water molecules are bonded with one another by hydrogen bond that's why at normal temperature hydride of oxygen I and mean water is liquid 
but if you consider hydrogen sulfide as there is a less difference of electronegativity between hydrogen and sulfur and it is less than 0 0.5 that's why no dipole is created in the hydrogen sulfide i mean hydrogen sulfide is a non-polar molecule and in the non-polar molecule there is no scope to form the hydrogen bond that's why hydrogen sulfide molecules can move freely as an individual molecule at normal temperature so hydrogen sulfide is a gas at normal temperature dear students look at the question number d explain the reason of different physical state of oxides of b and a Dear students, it can be understood that A and B are carbon and silicon respectively and the oxides of carbon is carbon dioxide and silicon is silicon dioxide students if I observe the electronegativity of carbon that is 2.5 and electronegativity of oxygen is 3.5 so the difference of electronegativity between carbon and oxygen is very high but the molecular shape molecular shape of carbon dioxide is linear molecular shape of carbon dioxide is linear that's why uh, stable dipole dipole movement that's why stable dipole dipole movement is not created here and this is a non-polar non-polar molecule students due to the linear shape of uh, the poles opposite poles are cancel out to each other that's why uh, no dipole is created here and it is a non-polar molecule as it is a non-polar molecule a uh, weak band of walls force is activated among the carbon dioxide molecules that's why carbon dioxide molecules can move freely in the atmosphere that's why at normal temperature co2 gas and come to the silicon dioxide dear students due to the difference of electronegativity between silicon and oxygen is very high and that is uh, the electronegativity of silicon is 1.7 or oxygen is 3.5 uh, for showing for the advantage of showing i have given here single one but actually in case of silicon dioxide it is carbon silicon double bond so dear students the dipole is created here when one more silicon dioxide molecules come closer they are bonded with dipole dipole attraction force and due to the dipole dipole attraction force innumerable number of silicon dioxide molecules are bonded with one another and in this this case one silicon is bonded with four oxygen atoms and four oxygen atoms with one oxygen atom so it bonded with two silicon atom by this process a giant molecule is formed that's why to break down those dipole dipole attraction force huge amount of 
heat is required that's why silicon dioxide is solid substance at normal temperature dear students that's all about the hydrogen based and dipole dipole attraction force based creative question and this is a very important creative question i hope you will learn it properly and students no more today goodbye